Okay, I've had a chance to work on your design a bit here. I'll give you the narrated tour. But this is what uh, I've done, just to be clear on the wall situation. We've removed this wall here, which is 37 inches. I shortened the depth of the wall to about 28 inches. And then this is a, sh so this is sheetrock right here. Sheetrock wall. Of course, this uh, wall goes all the way to the ceiling. Okay, sorry about that. So, just to be clear. This is a sheetrock wall, and this is a sheetrock wall. But it looks better, opens things up. I can do countertop overhangs that are um, uh, deeper. And if I did, that would allow seating around this peninsula. At the moment, I'm using a stock cabinet line called Mantra. If you use stock cabinetry, it will cost less money. And I can get it quicker. But the quicker part might not be as important. Here I've got a bank of three drawers. You've said you like drawers, so that's what I've done here. This is a 36 wide cabinet. This is a 12 inch wide cabinet with a drawer on top. What I would put in this door is cookie sheets on, stored on a vertical. Then you got a super lazy Susan in the corner. Looks like this. See the two trays? Those two trays spin independently of each other. And there's no pole. So it's all clear. So you can use the whole shelf. Sometimes these lazy Susans have poles. This one does not. That's why they call it a super lazy Susan. The tray that spins is about 32 inches in diameter. Then at the top, I've got a blind corner cabinet, which is right here, and a regular corner cabinet. Why do I call it a blind corner? Let me tell you why. This section here is the blind. This is the door that swings open this way. Let's see if I can... Sorry about that. The phone rang again. So that's this corner right here. Then I got the same thing over here. A blind corner cabinet. And then a cabinet covering that blind corner. Microwave over the stove. Another blind corner base cabinet. See, there's the blind. That blind is going to be covered by the sink base cabinet. One item I suggest you put in this blind is one of these guys. One second. This makes getting into the blind corner a little easier, in my opinion. Blind corner cabinet. 
Again, the sink base covers the blind of this cabinet here. Dishwasher, wall cabinet above the dishwasher, panels on either side of the refrigerator, and then a cabinet above, giving that refrigerator a built-in look. Now these are stock cabinets, so there are some limitations to stock cabinets. They don't have every cabinet option in the world. Another option, instead of these blind corner options, which is not my favorite cabinet, you can do a corner cabinet that looks like this. But this is a semi-custom option. Let me blow this up. So she looks like this. So there's no blind. Looks a little more, looks better. And might be a little bit easier to get to the storage. So I can do a stock com cabinet option, which is what you see here, and then a semi-custom cabinet option and hit the price button and see what the difference is. If, just to give you an idea, if stock cabinets are $6,000, um, semi custom might be seventy five hundred. Give you an idea. I don't know what the price of this kitchen is yet. I haven't pressed uh, figured out the pricing. I want to make sure that I'm on the right track as far as what you would like to see in your kitchen. So this is uh, probably a good start. Let me know what you think. I'll uh, also include a couple of links to get an idea what uh, maybe flavor cabinets you would like. Or you could certainly go to my office and pick out flavored cabinets, what flavors you'd like, what door styles you like. And then we can go from there.